Good afternoon. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about an AP statistics problem on chi-squared test. But before I get started, I will like to point out that uh, this channel is all for you. I have solved all kinds of stat problems just to help you out. So why are you hesitating? Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner and you will get free access to all kinds of stat problems solved just for you. So let's get started. A coffee chain has been receiving lots of new recommendations for its seasonal flavors. Instead of simply incorporating some of these suggestions in its not so secret menu, the company decided to see if the flavor of the drink, smoked butterscotch, peppermint mocha, caramel waffle, egg and eggnog is related to the type of drink, latte or cappuccino. They selected a random sample of 300,000 people in the US and asked everyone which of the drinks above they get most often. Which of the following procedures would be the most appropriate to use for investigating whether there is a correlation between the flavor of drink and type of drink? Remember, there are four flavors and two types of drinks. So there are five alternatives. A is a chi-square test for independence. Um, B is a chi-square goodness of fit test. C, a matching pair t-test. D, a two-sample t-test, E, a two-sample z-test. Choices C, D, and E are for quantitative data. Because we are trying to find out if the two factors are related, the most appropriate and correct answer choice is A, a chi-square test of independence which will test whether the two factors, remember the first factor is the flavor of drink, four types, and the second factor is the type of drink, latte or cappuccino, okay? Whether they're related to each other, whether they depend on each other, therefore a chi-square test of independence would be most appropriate. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button because I come back every time with an interesting problem and solution. For example, next time I'm coming back with an hypothesis test for proportions. Okay, I'll stop here today. Take care, have a nice day. Thanks.